What's up world? Today I'm gonna to be reviewing the UAG Apple Watch strap for the purposes of surfing or other intense water sports. Recently, Surfline came out with Surfline Sessions, which is a way to use your Apple Watch to track the Surfline cameras to keep track of your waves and to video them and send them to your phone with the app. This is the strap that they recommend at Surfline. They say this is, according to their testing, this is the most durable, trustworthy strap to wear with your Apple Watch when you're on surfing. So I got a new Apple Watch for Christmas and I was eager to try this Surfline Sessions thing out. So I went ahead and got this strap and this is simply the most expensive strap that Urban Arbor Gear makes. UAG is in for Urban Armor Gear. And uh, you can see it says right on the strap that it is water resistant up to 50 meters. Um, and so this is supposedly the surfing strap. Now it attaches just like any other Apple Watch strap. Um, you know, their claim on the website is the strap itself is unbreakable and it is, it should stand up to any of your activities. The fact that it's unbreakable is great, but I'm not sure that I entirely trust the fact that it attaches just like any Apple Watch strap because I don't know how durable these little slide-in hinges are in the Apple Watch. Um, nevertheless, they claim that it won't come out. So let's attach this thing real quick. Here's your watch face. The part that has the big hinge goes on the top, right here. It slides in just like any other Apple Watch. And that's locked in place. The bottom part goes in the same way. And if you're ever wondering which is the top and which is the bottom, Apple Watch straps have a part on the top that's raised and then the back side is not raised and it's usually a metal color. This is how the magnetic system works. So the, the metal part that's not raised goes on the, towards the bottom of the watch and that'll be true either way. So pop that on, it's locked in. That's what it looks like unhooked. And then when you hook this thing up, it's pretty simple. You just bring the bottom of the strap around slide it through this stainless steel bracket. In fact, everything on here, here, the bracket that connects it to the watch and the one on the other side is all stainless steel. So uh, very trustworthy. In fact, it's not plastic. Anyway, you slide it through there and then you just come around with it and Velcro it into place. So pretty much fit, you know, any, any size that you need it to be. When I went surfing with it, I had it uh, fairly tight. Not super tight, because I didn't want to put a ton of pressure on the hinges, but tight enough to where it's not going anywhere. But I have a little bit of wiggle room. I gotta be honest, I was really nervous taking this out. I was nervous for one thing, because Apple says you can take the Apple Watch out to do stuff like that. Um, but I wasn't keen on trusting that. I kind of wanted to get a waterproof case or something like that, but surfline.com says you don't need to do that. All you need is this strap. The Apple Watch will protect itself from water and the strap will keep it on your arm. And after one session, I'll show some of the clips from that session. After one session, uh, a session which, by the way, I took quite a beating um, there's definitely some huge wipeouts that I had. Um, I banged this thing on the board at one point in time. Um, I was, I, I was actually, uh, paddleboard surfing, so I was constantly moving my wrist, um, up and down, climbing on the board, you know, flipping it over, paddling out through the waves. But doing that, I was out there for about two hours and you know, took quite a beating. It wasn't the best day. Came out of the water. This thing is in perfect shape. It's still on my arm. The Apple Watch works great. 
the sound, the microphones in it, everything was fine. Um, I did hose it off afterwards to get some of the salt water off of it from the ocean. Uh, I hosed it off with regular water um, just to, so it doesn't collect the ocean smell from anything. But also, you know, salt water can be corrosive. And so I didn't want that to do any long-term damage to the watch or the strap itself. I know a lot of people have been looking at the strap, looking at Surfline sessions. I was super nervous about taking my brand new Apple watch out with it, but I can say from experience that it has not failed me. And I definitely recommend this to anybody trying to do water activities with your Apple watch. Um, it is not the most stylish looking band. It comes in this black, it comes in orange, and it comes in like a white camo style. I wanted to get the orange because I thought if I lose it on the water, the orange would be visible and I could see where it went quickly. The black might disappear. Um, but I also needed it by a certain date and didn't have time to order it online and black was the only color that Best Buy had. So side note, fun fact, you can get these at Best Buy if you don't want to order online, but they may not have the color that you're looking for. Overall, uh, you've seen some of the clips of, of me using this rigorously. Overall, I think this is a great product. Um, I think, now I'm, I'm only a couple sessions in here, but I think that Urban Armor gear has really, really put a lot of time into consideration of how this would work and how it would protect your Apple Watch. And rightfully so, because it's a $60 price point. So, um, yeah, that's that would, that would be the only negative about it, I would say. Um, Pros, it is highly, highly durable. It's stainless steel and it doesn't come out of the Apple Watch. Definitely waterproof. Velcro, as you know, can survive in water, no matter how you slice it. Any other sort of bracket, I, I probably wouldn't trust. Um, and it doesn't look terrible, especially the black one. Like, if I was walking around with this, people would just think I have sort of a normal, you know, watch on. Um, the orange one maybe is a little standoutish, but cons, it is really expensive. $60 is a big swing. And it's not that comfortable, honestly, um, because it's such a thick strap. This is the 42 millimeter version, so it's definitely thick. But because it's such a thick strap, I feel like, you know, no matter how loose I put it, it's always just like everywhere on my arm. It's a little bit itchy too, uh, especially if you're sweaty and doing other stuff. So I actually haven't been using this except for when I want to go in the water because it's not super comfortable. So cons, $60 price point, not super comfortable. But overall, if you're wanting to surf or do anything in the water with your Apple Watch, I can honestly say I think this is the way to go. I almost went a different direction, but I'm really glad that I got the Urban Armor Gear Apple Watch band. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoy this video or uh, these types of videos, make sure to give it a like. Give my channel a subscribe. I have vlogs on my channel of uh, me doing different things with my family, surfing, paddle surfing, uh, fishing, different stuff. Um, so if you like those, watch those, give them a like. Um, but if you want more review videos, stay tuned as I'll be reviewing most of the gear that I have coming up soon. So I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.